Hello and welcome to the Punters Show. Matthew Taylor, Glenn Pollock, Mark Lambon. Good morning. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? May the 25th. So May the 25th, yeah. Beautiful. Mm. On our way. Getting, on, getting on our to? way into the depth of winter. Yeah, it's, yeah. well, yeah. You would be surprised in thinking that it that hasn't been winter yet. Well, I tell you, I can tell you, I was at Flemington on Saturday. It was winter. It was winter, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool down there, mate. <laughs> you know, usually when you're really cold, it's because of wind. Yes. There's no wind. Just cold. It's just cold. Like I think there it is was Melbourne. I think it was eleven. But it I, felt colder than that. I lived in Melbourne. The best thing about Melbourne is the road to Sydney. <laughs> Coming home. I don't know. I, there was a But then again, with all due respect, you weren't exactly coming home with you. <laughs> I had a tank of petrol. <laughs> a tank of petrol and some enthusiasm to get out of there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I was listening to um, listening to Dino and Duff talk about La Amistad on, on the radio. Yep, forty-one dollars in the Melbourne Cup now, La Amistad. I tell you what, they've undersold her in the sense that that was a really good win on Saturday. Yeah. She she settled last in a thirty-two hundred meter race. And then there were sixteen the horses. Sixteen horses. I heard Richard Freeman talking about the it. leader kicked away, yes. and she has circled the field, come after the leader, run it down. The other, the rest. I, I realise they're you know your usual suspects. I'm just saying that it was a good win on Saturday. She, she. So what are you saying? I'm you're saying. saying <laughs> you're saying, saying she's forty-one dollars. Forty-one dollars. No, 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 what do you want? Back no, or lay? No, 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 no. I think that the. I think that she's been un, her effort is, on Saturday has been undersold by talk of the Melbourne Cup. Yeah. Like the correct, um, the yes. correct review of Saturday was. Yes. Wow, she did a good job in that race. Yeah. She had no favours. She did it all herself. Yeah. So you what know, are you saying? Back or life? I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying back, next start. I'm not talking about yeah. bloody spring. Which is, uh, why are they mean, talking about that? Because you mentioned it then, $41 you're no. talking about. No, I, I said $41. No, did you? Yeah. No, I'm just merely saying. I, think I, they, I thought I think she, she didn't get the accolades she deserved for what she did on Saturday. Okay, because I think she's got that reputation of being a walker because of the big sister. Well, yeah. also, it's 12 months since she won the Merkel, Merkel Cup. She yeah. beat Destiny's Kiss in the Merkel Cup, you remember that? Yeah. And, um, you know, that was Spruikville from then on. And, yeah. yeah, there was this time last year. This is her day. <laughs> Obviously, it's her day. Um, did she go on to that two? We've got that two mile race in Fortnight, don't we? In no, Brisbane? No, 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 here, Sydney. The, the, the Rose oh, of 30 Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah that, that probably would be her Why not? Yeah. Yeah. There she is. Smart switcheroo. Like Wallace, having a bit of, Wallace having a bit of success with switcheroos, Glenn. What do you think that Don't know. Like, you remember when we used to talk about the, the Hawk switcheroo leading into the Snowden switcheroo? Yes. And nobody bothers now talking we've about got the Rick's switcheroo. The who? Oh, the O'Shea. Because no. because he doesn't exist on Wetrix, he scratches all his horses. Mm. Have you noticed that? I haven't noticed that. Mm. He did leave something in. Oh, yeah. Copy, yeah. Copy, copy, copy. Well, in. and Copy was the only one he left in at, at Hawkesbury, of course, yeah. Yeah. The day. Which, it's like, which, oh, which well, we, we know she's a wet tracker, so we can leave her in. Yeah. Come on, Rick. Just have just just well, have a bit of a go, will you? Yeah. Like the. We need the field size, don't we? Uh, I mean. Look, I, I think the money. other thing is that, that they're all panicked all the time. Like, especially if there's a drop of rain at Warwick Farm, they get Gary Portelli on the phone and he goes, yes, it's going to be a real bog here. Mm. It's a, they just can't help themselves. Mm. It's like, they just get, they've got this mentality about, oh my God, you know, it's, this is a bottomless track, holy shit. What was mm. the track on Saturday? Well, well uh, my, question was, my question was to you, why did it take, I don't, know, don't even know when it was upgraded, why did it take all day? All day to become from a ten to a nine, and it wasn't. Well, a nine. why was it a ten on race morning? Because <laughs> the tweet from Royal Randwick, uh, uh, Royal Randwick, whatever it is, tweet Twitter mm. handle, on Friday afternoon is, yes, we've had seventeen mils of rain this morning, yeah. but uh, and it's a heavy nine, but there's it's strong winds. There were strong winds. That's oh, very strong. Very strong. Jesus, strong winds. Right. I had there was, quite, I was yeah. there was mm. bugger all. In between mm. then yeah. and race time, but mm. suddenly we're we're ten. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh god, you know, panic stations, quick shit. Yeah, exactly. You know, the ass has fallen out of the world, and it's ten. There we go. And it was, never was a ten. No. I mean, they might. I don't. I don't know. Do they? They argue that. Was a, I don't. I didn't hear any of the reasoning for it. Was there some patch somewhere that might? They might have said that. So that makes it. But they tend to actually say that now, anyway, don't they? Yeah. So no. I um, know. Uh, uh, the, the track was never a team. Honestly, um, the, this this joint in New South Wales is in, is, is, is in serious problem trouble. Um, I also because I had to spend a lot of time in the car between nine and ten this morning, an unusual amount of time yes. because on account of having to go to school twice. It's always fun going to school twice. But, um, I, I heard the country guys ringing in saying, you know, 
Yeah. The, yeah. My, the, the committee man's got a stable hands license, so he basically yeah. whilst I've told him he has to step down. Yeah, so it's licensed. And then there's three people in on the Moree committee a bookmaker, a train, uh, a bookmaker, or a trainer, and a strapper or something like that. Well, They've all had to stand down because Racing New South Wales is bothered about the conflict of interest. Oh. Yeah. Right? Bring on the conflict of interest. It's the only thing that gets anything going. Yeah. When you've got a conflict of interest in the betting room, like my trainer's told me my horse is a certain because of, and my trainer's told me my, me, my horse is a certain because of. Great, Turner. My God, it's the only thing that gets things happening. Like, this PC business of no conflict of interest is just going to grind the whole thing to halt. It, it's sort of a little bit hypocritical, isn't it? When you, Where do you draw the line of conflict of interest where our chairman is our biggest breeder? Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Hello? Gee, you're onto something there. Yeah, exactly. So, I, and I, But I've always argued you should have a conflict of interest because if you've got a, a conflict, says you've got a stake in the thing. Where and, and a good functioning board should have different conflicts of different representations, apart from not all the breeders, but yeah. So, and our old mate who was on the radio, I mean, she said, it's not that easy to get committee people. <laughs> you, you know, committee yeah. people. And it's not that easy to get committee people who know anything. Either. Yeah, and yeah. country race clubs are so much from a voluntary, roll your sleeves up, let's just do it for our country race club. So, then getting in and having a and go. And have racing your boss tell us what to do. And then racing yourself, I says, oh, sorry, you, you might have had three really good people on your board, but, yeah, because they, they actually work in racing, they can't be. One bloke strapped a horse every six months. Keith Paul. Oh, yeah. yeah, beautiful. Anyway, he's a politically um, correct man, Keith Paul, isn't he? He's a nice man that... Um, is he a nice man? Yeah, he's a nice he's, he's actually a lovely man. Is he really? Yeah. He's got a touch of narc then? No, no, he's not really. No, I mean, he needs to do, <laughs> like, in order to do his <laughs> job, he's got to be a narc. Hey? He's got to be a narc to do what he sees in his job. <laughs> Everyone that works for the ATC just looks angry to me. Yeah, ATC yeah. or Racing to the Wales? Well, everything. All the whole crew, both crews. Mm. Busy body angry. Well, the ATC. Can anyone come and say, G'day, how you going? Been winning? Anyone talk like that? It, weird, it's a very good point, isn't it? How yeah. are you, Glenn? How are you, Dale? What, how's the joint going? Been too many winners? Sean been back in the winner? Sure, Ty, yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> well, <laughs> this, is, this is the interesting, <laughs> interesting, Sean interesting case. Sean every time you look at him, you just see a man going, Fuck, I hate being here. Right, okay, but he, but he came from outside racing, didn't he? But they look like they hate it. Well, that's why, because they they're yeah. not actually they're not, they're they're not, not actually interested. Oh, you know, in you know, you know. Oh, I think I think one of the one of the things on that is that I think when the races are on and there's a footy game on, I think more people are more interested in the footy than they are at the races. Right. From the right. administrators. Yeah. They're, yeah. So they yeah, it's a job. It's not a passion. I think that's and I think that's probably where we Terry Terry's the one. Oh, the Terry. Light. Terry's the shining light. Yeah. Terry enjoys doing the form. He seems to be bouncing around. Mm, no, Terry's awesome. great. But, um, well, we shouldn't say that too much. Ray will sack him. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Terry. don't give the game away. <laughs> there, Angry, yeah. Angry man. Yeah. Yeah. Terry's, Terry's spent a long time ma grow. making sure that everyone knows he's doing his job. Yeah, we've been doing that job for a long time and doing a good job. Beautiful. Anyway, yeah, we're so moving along into the um, oh, man of the match. There they are. There they are. What about there they are? What, 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 tell, tell us about there they are. Tell us. There they are. How would you like more radiant? Bang. Ten dollars. I laid it. Yeah. How would you like Thurber Jenny? Bang. Yeah, I'll tell you that was very well backed as well. Thurber Jenny. <laughs> yeah, and these all Melbourne horses. Yeah, all the Melbourne horses. Melbourne um, winners. More idea was ten bucks. Thurber Jenny was about fifteen or sixteen bucks in the morning. Yeah, it was ten. Yeah. It was Thurber Jenny was ten into eight. Yeah. During the betting. During oh, the they've betting. done a good job. Najoo. Najoo. Well, Bang. Oh, well, oh, so that was, that was that was a rubbish win, yeah. wasn't it, Najoo? Oh, like, no, no, it was a hot win, Mark. It's yeah. Alan, like, Gord rang me yesterday and he said, you know the. Beautiful thing. I love to see, to see those horses go up to Brisbane and do it tough and win because Alan Thomas cannot believe it. Yeah. He says horses can't win from bad gates. Yeah. They can't win they sitting three wide. Gates, yeah. It's just not possible. Right. So he, he's a beautiful man to follow in the run, Alan Thomas, because I've laid a few a lot of runners in the run that are just dog trotting in third spot. Oh, is it like on the candy? Yeah. Well whatever. It's just dog trotting around the back. Yeah, they jump at Portal of 40. And next thing you want someone wants to have eight hundred on with your two twenty, yeah. listen to the call around the back. How and then they pull out, oh, this, you know, it's a 440 chance. How good would it have been with Jay Tap? Because he, he was the best at, you know, yeah, flat to the boards. Oh, yeah, yeah, If you were yeah, flat yeah. to the boards. Oh, yes. There's, there's no in-run right. betting when, 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 when there was a flat to the boards. And I've wiped any Jay, talk, Jay Tap memories out of the complete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching Johnny what do you mean? Tap. He's had an honourable retirement. Talking about honourable retirement, it's nice to see He's Robert, in the... <laughs> Robert Thompson. <laughs> he... What? Uh, Hall of Famer. Yeah, and? 
He's like, not retiring. He's just tell me he's retiring, please. Like Pol Pot getting the fucking Nobel <laughs> Peace Prize, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck me. Jeez. Best ever. Best ever call ever. That's just ridiculous. Last night, it was I meant Kim Jong Un. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said this the last night. I changed to Pol Pot. I thought about it more. Getting the Peace Prize. Like honestly, fucking <laughs> Robert, don't accept that award. I know, and you know, you don't deserve it. <laughs> I said to Jimmy because Jimmy's a Hall of Famer. I said, Jimmy, what about Robert? Yeah, he said, well, a great man to be there with me. And I went, You're quite right, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just say, what about Jake Cassidy on Saturday when he, like, this, you know, we've, we've spoken for years and years about the two Jimmys. And in the run, can't you tell the difference between the two Jimmys? Oh, you just... know, I have tipped Barrow Miller on top in the last, and I've watched him. Slide between those two runners yeah. at the 800, thinking, a good Jimmy here. Good yeah. Jimmy for sure. Yeah, whereas last What about week, bad Jimmy actually winning a race too? Beyond thankful. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was like, bad Jimmy. That was bad Jimmy. Well, I'm trucking here, but I know that one's going to win. Oh, what's that one doing? Oh, oh right, I'll win. That was, I'm telling you, bad Jimmy got up and beyond thankful. Yeah, that was Jimmy minding his own business. That, that was one. Jimmy not terribly interested, but just happened to win the race, Jimmy. <laughs> That's the Jimmy that shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. But the Barra Miller Jimmy, definitely in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. We've got Robert in there with the 4,000 winners. Good on you, Robert. What a great award for you. <laughs> what a good man of racing, a servant you've been. A good man. <laughs> we get to Barra, talking about Barra Miller, um, we've got to give Matt a, Matt a rap for the, uh, the little wall of theory yes, there. Yes, that's right. Matt, Matt's Pearl of Wisdom a few weeks ago. Mm. Well, what's it? Born Fruit. Uh, Chris Waller, less less than a hundred day spells, and the one quiet trial. Or yes, yeah, we can make it two. It doesn't make it really two, matter. one. Just, just you know, nothing. Bob and so, no, 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 Bob, and, Bob and wins under those circumstances. Over. Eighty-four days, and sixteen hundred back to Barramilla. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you got that residual fitness brushed up with the trial. Yeah, and distance. then you do get the odds. Like the and, bet, and, the and bet's twenty-one dollars. And probably the, the the fact yeah. that it's a quiet trial indicates hmm. that they're. And it's the price. The key point and what about the, price, the uh, yeah. what about the Betfair wallet? Uh, when you're looking at twenty one dollars <laughs> on three boards and on Betfair, there was four hundred and eighty five dollars for Barrow Miller with nineteen dollars. Yeah. And you're looking at the twenty one. They're going, oh, they want nineteen here. So the the, the Walla Fair man, mm. he's on the ball. Yeah. Whoever you are, Walla Fair man, gee, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you do a really good job. He of might end up in the Hall of Fame It was like too. a race to race double, wasn't it, Matt? Bobbing into uh, into uh, Barramella. B into B. I know. I think little uh, Liam Pryor might have had a tricky double there too. Which was? The Which stable. Bobbing and Barramella. He was tipping Barramella pretty strong on the radio. Yeah, you Maybe, would have heard that again you know. when you listened to the radio this morning too. Yeah, yeah I, I did. I did actually. Yeah. You catch all the goss. Yep. That's and good. some poor guy's been dudded because he's been told the time that he based his bet on was wrong. Yeah. Just as they were going into the gates, I felt for him. Yeah, exactly. Funny, right. a bloke saw me before the first and said, they said, I really need to turn $200 into a bit of money. I'm in a lot, a lot, of, a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. Can you help me? And I said, well, listen. I said, what's going to, just tell me, give me two winners, I'll have a double. I said, well, put the 200 on coys, put it all up in the gym. I don't know how you lose, right? That's the G-Pollet uh, double banger for Saturday. Well, it's, Six and a half thousand return for two hundred dollars. Do you think I've even seen a sight nor hear of him since? No. 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 What about the G Pollock? What about the G Pollock putter that had the uh, two hundred on those two? Two hundred all up. Does that meaning you? Meaning me? No, yeah. I didn't do it. No, no. those who can't do yeah, teach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I never do. I wanted coins, but I let the gym go around because I thought, well, it's interstate. I don't bet in the states. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was having this discussion. Have rules, I know? was having this discussion with somebody the other day when you say I don't bet interstate, but yet you spend your evenings betting on UK. Oh, it's in the it's in the run. That's a different. Beast. Oh, was, oh, okay. So. I never I never have a bet before they jump. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's only in the run. You know what? I actually I've, I've been junkie betting a bit on the um on the um uh, UK race. English race. It's a beautiful just, thing. I th in the run there, it's, you get a really good feel for them, don't they? You, you, oh, it's fucking great. I, I don't it's think like, I, I turnover. Yeah. But so what are you doing? You're, wat you're watching the screen that's five seconds behind. Six and, and a half. And, and, and the in-run betting, which is live. which is Live, yeah. So but the funniest thing about it is when they, they come to the hurdle and they're in front and they're $1.40, and next thing they're 1000 to one, but there's a jump to go, and you go, oh, I'm going to watch this bloke hit the deck. It's <laughs> yeah. the funniest thing. Of all. And your little brain's going, maybe I should take the house, and maybe he'll stay on the horse. But, oh, no. <laughs> he spears into the ground. That's a beauty. I love that's the 1000 to one know, that's premonition. Mm. But for, for whatever reason, Glenn, I've, I've found that Whatever bet I've had, in run, I've pretty much known whether it's going to win or lose straight away. So I think, for whatever reason, 
I've just worked at a play for you, Dale. What's that? You bring a Sheila home, put the in running play with the hurdle, yeah. and just have a few glasses of wine. So listen, if I can pick a horse that's going to fall, <laughs> am I allowed to fuck you? And she'll go, if you can do it, you can. Yeah. And you got the. And then, I reckon that leader will bang, and then fucking you're in. Beautiful. Sounds good. <laughs> Like great play. It's a great play. Yeah. And you look like such a smart guy. <laughs> girls like to root the smart boy. <laughs> oh, you do. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, now, so right. I've got something I want to talk yeah. about. To just diverting from racing, because I like to have my non-racing story. Oh, no, little, well, actually, in fact, all our, all our viewers actually only tune in to watch them. And actually, you only really want to talk about the non-racing stories. <laughs> well, racing boys, we should have. Now, there's only one block on the radio I can listen to all the morning. And there's only one block. You, you, if you listen to Ray Hadley... Sorry, where are you of the morning? What are you talking about? So I'd to race Oh, right, right. You mean mid-morning. Yeah, not morning morning. It's, it's still morning. <laughs> not Alan Jones morning. I know, asleep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can't listen to Ray Hadley. You can't listen to John Laws. Stuart Bocking is the only bloke you can listen to. Stuart who? Stuart Bocking. Stuart Bocking. Uh, he was a... Two week. 954. Yeah, the old John, uh, John Laws is old co-driver. Oh, right. He's very, very easy to listen to. Goes to races. Goes to footy. Talks about things, has a bit of a go, sticks it to a few people. You know, you don't like, you know, doesn't had, try to be the others. Doesn't try to be the others. And, well, you know, Ray Hadley has people write songs about how great he is. And, you know, like, it's just, you, you can't listen to Ray Hadley. You, you, even if I saw him at Hawkesbury the other day at the races, you can't even look at him. He just has the daggers around him. He thinks he, I mean, he's a cab driver. For oh, no, no, anyway, no. Stuart Bonnie, he's the best. Like, I gotta watch him. He's a good guy. He did a thing, you're not gonna believe this if I told you. Or I, I know he ran off the road. It's, it's, this it's is just, it does your head in. Yeah. He did a thing for Bidwell Kids Club. The Bidwell Kids Club is a, obviously out of Bidwell, it's a kids club for young people. <laughs> it comes off, You're the going back, well, yeah. off the back of that Struggle Street show, yeah, yeah. which he didn't watch. So in, in come, and they did a fundraiser, which is great. It's filled an hour, a bit of fluff, people ring in. We've got Doris here, oh, hi, I love oh, $50. And, it's nice. Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> your your favourite radio host, you don't Aaron, even know. Aaron, 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 oh, oh mate rings up. Oh mate rings up. He's the chairman. He's the chairman of Rosella Foods. And they've got the new range of soups. Which they talk about for five or six minutes. And Stuart's doing a good job massaging him up. Now, whatever, let's say his name was Graham, I can't remember what his name was, but he said, you've got the new onion and cheese, or you've got this, yeah, they're the two new ranges coming out, and remember, we're Australian, the chicken soup, only Australian chickens, he went, it was the best spirit you've ever seen in six months, now, now, Graham, can you help us here? Yes, we can. We would like to donate 300, and as he said 300, I thought, wow, they're going to donate $300,000. Because what else could it be? It can't be three hundred dollars. Three hundred. Not for, not for that uh, advertorial. He no. went for ten minutes. He donated three hundred cans of soup. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even three hundred bucks. No. What's well, it's a hundred bucks? And Stuart said, "Thanks so much. The kids are going to be able to eat three hundred cans of soup." I tried to get on after him because I was going to say in front of the Punisher, "We absolutely fly blood, but we're going to buy three hundred and one cans of soup." <laughs> The chairman donated 300 cans of soup, wow. and Stuart Bocking said, "Thanks so much for the soup." It's amazing, isn't it? it went, they wow. got a, they got about eight. It was like this bloke would be on 300,000. He's on six thousand dollars a week. He took a hundred dollars of the company's money and said, "That's for the kids." Now, Stuart, please <laughs> tell him to get the 300 cans of soup and shove them straight up his Australian chicken ass because <laughs> it, I, I ran off the side of the road. I, I just like. I, I was having a conniption. Yeah. We like those kids to eat Aussie soup. What, for two days? <laughs> Not 300 cans a week. Yeah. 300, 300 can cans of soup, Mark. <laughs> Chairman of a big company. There's something wrong with that, isn't it? It is. See, this is why I have massive issues. It's well. It's anyway, big hello to the Chairman of Rosella <laughs> Soup. You are the title. Oh, I thought it was 300k. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I a... had to get off my chest. I feel better. Anyway, alright. All Coys. Anything to say there? Okay, can yeah. we just talk about the track firstly, where, yep. where the clever riders monopolised the winners because I don't think it was an easy track to ride. Can I actually, can I, I, from walking it, and I, I don't know about really walking, walking it, but walking across it, it felt like the, out, the lane was the place, but outside the lane was worse than the inside part yeah, of the lane. Yeah. It, fe it felt pretty... pretty. Uh, well, that's why I said, suggested to you, you look for middle barriers, yeah. because 
the way they ride those tracks is they're racing wide already. Yeah, yeah. So the lane is not very far out. No, three that's metres, right. Three metres is supposed to be five metres away from the yeah. rail, but they're already sort of racing three metres yeah, out. Yeah, and you get pushed so over the So they're corner. already at the six metre position yeah, yeah, in the first place. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you just you couldn't really come around them. No. You just had to sit there. And wait. And wait. Yeah. And take the right run. And wait. I but not wait as long as Winona. Talking about, yeah. Well, Winona's lost her apprenticeship. Another one that didn't make it with Gay. Once yeah. you fall out with Gay, yeah, even yeah, though yeah, you yeah. make up, right. you're out. Yeah, okay. yeah. And as we always say, for the, the trivia question, for anyone who hasn't seen it, seen it before, the only person you, you know this one, don't you? Mm. you? You know this? The only one, the only apprentice to make it with Gay, all the way through. Know, Robin Freeman. Who there is. There it is. There is Robin, and she now works in a hairdressing salon in Wollongong. I suppose. Never rides anyone. Aaron, what are you doing with those Maddie. coffees? <laughs> <laughs> he's, up, he's been out there for 10 minutes. Aaron! Oh, I've never seen anyone <laughs> down the road slower. <laughs> been bought, Aaron was... went and bought coffees. He can't even get coffees, this bloke. <laughs> <laughs> You've been there for 10 minutes. Why oh, are you going to on the phone and deliver coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is wrong with that? Uh, Here comes the Punisher it, apprentice. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it's best served hot. <laughs> get the coffees yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. Get the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing a show. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, whilst well, Aaron's Aaron, say, Aaron, say hello to everyone. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Aaron yeah. from Races. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, Aaron, there he is. Oh, mate. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, yeah good idea. Yeah, great. Lukewarm coffee. Yeah. I hope it costs you $20. He's always going to find that boy. Mm. Yeah, he's, got, he's doing stuff. Yeah. Oh, you got a little one. Yeah. Piccolo. What's yeah. that pickle like? What you just, well, like a shot, is milk. It's um, stronger than a type of yeah. milk, isn't it? Mm. Have a little coffee, would you? Like, he's ruined this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, he hasn't gone well. This anyway, is the last thing from What do we say about Coy's uh, two year olds? Anything to report? Keep winning. I thought uh, I like the two year old race. So Willie was sort of my player of the day. It and, was, um, it was. You backed it for a place as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, each way, but yeah, Coy's had pretty good form, I thought, going through, and I'd we were just all. It's a it. reasonable price, ten dollars at this. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I missed it, but I think the relevant point was it had the twelve fifty metre run. Mm. Mm. And we're all a bit perplexed about the win of uh, Skyclad at Rose Hill. It was a different scenario, sort of on Saturday. It was I well thought. backed, better. Mm. Take, they took two sixty. Yeah, yeah, it was better back than I thought it would be. Well, smart players took two sixty, and I remember thinking to myself, they're just not that smart. The smart players, you can't take two sixty out. Well, yeah, no, I mean, they're, allowed, they're allowed to make mistakes, aren't they? So I've got a bet. They can't. They can't be like, uh, like the GFO of old that was just in there, and he just spot this little opportunity and just nail it, and then he'd sit back and wait forever. Yeah. It's like, you, you, no, you've, got to, you've got to bet. Mm -hmm. mm. um, and besides, if you like that, bookies really don't want to let you on. If you're too selective, you know, bookies they get a bit narky about that. It's like you've got to show the bookies that, that they've got a chance with you. You're not good. Um, at the um, well, we're still doing the shot. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so, so, oh. the, yeah, so Coy's fine. Well done, guys. Uh, well done, Matt, so Willie. And well done, Glenn. Matt and Glenn. Really? Yeah, I tipped Coy's from So Willie there, so yeah. I sort of handled that. Yeah. Handled that. 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 Handled uh, well, open short and didn't really have any friends. It's, it's funny how yeah, how, funny how those friendless horses they get in the run. They've got no friends as well. It's like they don't it, 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 it's like the betting knew what was going to happen. The betting knew that 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 the slow pace of that race would just kill that horse, mm -hmm. and it just voila, there it is. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The so look, I was I, I was against better not, better not blue. For other reasons, but I didn't. I didn't jerry to the smart reason, which was this. This is now a field of six, and um, this the way this race is run is not going to suit this horse. Whereas the clever punters, and you know, let's face it, clever punters, there's a lot of them. That was amazing. I thought was, they just definitely said this horse has none, and the leader, uh, and the and horse that was disappointing last start, is just going to. Well. Yeah, plane I, I, or whatever the word I, I think it's a default position, Matt, because yeah. they're basically saying, we don't like this horse, so they've got to be eminently forgiving okay. of something else. And also they're just saying, well, this is this, this horse started favouring the lead up, so mm. it's the logic horse to back again. Okay. Um, so it's... Also, it had the form at that track in them conditions. Sure. Yeah, sure. And then went somewhere else, took that four-way sure. second up, 
sure. had the short SP yeah. and failed, yeah. and then goes back to the scene of the kill. Absolutely. There it is, 440 looks wrong. And with, a, with 440 was wrong. Yeah. yeah, and with It'll a typical with a run that you look and said it's easy to say that it was flat too. Second up, yeah, but you made all those points as well. It ticked a stack of boxes there. Yeah, though. yeah. I mean, I tipped it on top too, but it was easy. It was a default tip. I thought it was an easy tip. Mm. Um, Bjorn, can, can I just go back just to finish on my race too? There's a lot of Twitter talk about how b badly ridden, very delicious has been. Is that do you, do you? I think it's that style of horse. I think uh, that style of rider too. I know Jason Collette. I, I quite like backing Jason Collette, but if, if you don't like your horses ridden patiently, don't back Jason Collette because he just comes out, goes back, mm. but he, he takes runs. He's a, he's tough, he's a good it's the sort of horse you'd never ever back from gate one. Like back, you'd just never ever back a back marker from gate one. Well, it was always going back. Oh, oh yeah. Hey. Like, but, you know, people at Twitter talk were saying that a lot of Jason calls just drop out. I was going to say, I was just right. going to make that point. Yeah, no, name one that goes forward. Yeah, a lot of Jason. Name one that goes That's forward. That's sort of a bit of the Graham, Graham Big style of what it was, you know. Well, I'm sure Jason would love to hear that. What, yeah. the Graham Big style? But, but what the point, the converse Hang point. On, you got into trouble for bagging Graham Big 20 years ago. No, I wasn't bagging Graham Big, I was bagging all, all Silas' chances in a particular race. We're going to get Graham on the show soon. I saw him this morning walking his dog with Sue. There he was. Um, the, but the point, the reverse point of that, about that is what Robbie says about Gay, with you know, with her style obviously being on the post. She trains a lot more winners accidentally than she should. Yeah. Richard yeah, Greenwood had a big go at her on Racing Metro, a big go at her. Really? really? Really big going. Said, oh, how about how good Gay's was again? They all win by five lengths. What's going on with this statement? Oh, 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 so he's casting his first. Oh, Richie right. boy, what did that mean? Richie had a go for sure. Oh, wow. And off, just off camera, you could see at the track, Zarafa just laugh, giggling to himself, and then the Duff was having a bit of a giggle. And Richie was saying, they don't just win. He said, look at all of them. Pornish, a eh? Najum sits three deep on the pace and run away to win by five. He just. He had a real little dig at our guy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, we better close ranks, hey? I believe it's fair contract. Hi, yeah, hi, Midnight win by default. Sabrina. I um, mean, I did a good job there. Yeah, yeah. How many horses win back to back those type of races? And I know I don't follow weights, but it did, did go up three kilos. Right, there's one thing to do. Yeah, no form? No, I mean, like, you know. I don't know what B. Loy was thinking, but it, yeah. it, it, you know, it cost his horse being in the finish. Oh, Swiss. look, I, I, you know, it, it, the criticism was that he should have gone right than left. That's a split second decision. And no, all, it's, oh, look, it's Dale, it's a staying race. You don't. Yeah, you, you better go be into it. Don't, yeah. don't be pretty in a staying race, yeah. please. They're, 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 in a, they're in a staying race for a reason. It's they can't sprint. Yeah. The, 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 to me, but, the amazing thing about the race was I looked at Aragon and I thought, look at this beautiful little Jason Coyle. So I got one tomorrow at 33 as he had Cathy on. It went around like 9 or $10 solid as a rod. Yeah. Ran like a 33 chance. <laughs> good old Cath. She does do good jobs. Um, so what uh, I thought Brody Law, I mean, I, you've got to give a kid a rap for being brave and that, but that was pretty dangerous what he was trying to do, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, well done, you know, great, but Jesus, that, was, that looked a bit scary. It, it's interesting that, you know, the idea about heavy tracks is that, that they spread out. Mm. So how are they so clumped in that situation? Yeah, and especially at the end of 2,000 metres and they're fully, or a lot, or a lot of, or she's a fully anyway. Um, uh, you mentioned Jimmy accidentally winning on Beyond Thankful, Mirage running off the course. Well, and the other thing weird thing was, I thought, thought that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a, like, in no high fun. grade race, it's no good. No good. Right? It's, it's like your best race as a maidens at the provincials. Well, they're the most sensationally backed horse of the day, $8 in the 380 Padiras. Well, so, so they couldn't work out what to back. That's exactly right. But they, right? They, 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 well, they, they said they didn't want to back Beauty's Beast. Yeah. Beauty's Beast did and not they, have its name written no, no, down. Beauty's and we're backing Boss be. Lane, even though I can't win. Yeah. We know it can't handle work, but we've still got to back something. Well, you see, that's one of those, like, Boss Lane won his maiden in heavy track, right? Was it Newcastle? No, no, it was no. Canterbury. Yes. It was Canterbury. Yes. So it's one of those age-old, go W, which yeah. we just, so we'll just ignore the fact that, that people are telling us he doesn't like the wet. Because he's got a win in the wet. Mm. I don't know how they're him. Yeah. Well, I, I, no, they did, because he's got a W. But just it's just a nothing race, isn't it? It ticks the odd box, which is all that's required, and because, um, I don't know. Well, I mean, we have got Laurie's Love going around at $9, who yeah. got around $26 at Canberra yeah, next Friday week, you know. There you yeah. go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, God's Own continues his um, success as a stallion, Mark. With <laughs> God's in him. God's in him and Gun. Well, it's the on-fire gun. Well, you've got to say that, the only reason that horse won is Gun. Yeah. 
just gunned the whole way, gunned it. Done. And and it didn't... It, Grand Punto's become a grand myth. Well, also, Grand Punto's... He's drawn the widest. He's trying to come down the lane, come outside the lane, isn't he? Yeah, he gets pushed it's, over the cliff. I mean, that's 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 yep. the problem. Pushed I mean, over the cliff. Also, he's well exposed, and you know, he's he's sort of done his job. He's lost me. Sense of occasion. Um, very well back. Very well back. Got the perfect run. His stable mate that wasn't really well back was well back. I tipped him a good thing in that race. Was I that really, really, I what, what time Jimmy was, was on Destiny's though. Kiss? Hmm? Yeah. Well, that well, Destiny's Kiss was twenty third up, like. Yeah, but it would. Oh, I think, yeah, I don't, unfortunately, I, you know, I gave McGinn's and said that, but um, everybody else has had enough of them. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they gave up on Destiny's Kiss about six or eight runs ago. My weather did. Remember when he used to start evens in these races? Mm. Yeah, that's right, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in sense of well, occasion. Window, a couple of those races today, I don't want to talk about. Yeah, no, it's not really, there's nothing, there's just nothing about oh. it, is it? And, and the, the last two, our the, the, magic so you there's need good a horse. comment. Is it a good horse? It's a good horse, man. It's, it's a rock. It, 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 <laughs> I know. It is Keeps a, it is a pocket line. rocket, is it like it's oh, a little it's pocket rocket? Little thing, yeah. I, slings at I think it, it yeah. wet track advantage big time though, Glenn, isn't it? Yeah, it was also very well backed, wasn't it? Yeah. A couple of boys. Yeah, yeah, he came in late. Seven into like a dollar fifty yeah. or something. The weird thing about that race that um sorry to talk over the top of you, Matt. Nice. Um, he's just he's new. Fair. He's still he's still a Yeah. Um there, he is. there was very, very good money for alias. Like as they're about to jump on the um, What did you make of that? Well, uh, absolutely surprising because it looked pregnant. So, uh, weird. It's, like, it, it's, it's drawn the wrong lane. Mm. It's first up. It's not really a Saturday horse. It's probably a wet tracker. But, and you're saying it didn't look any good either? No, so, so it was no. just like someone Excellent. had to take a position, so they just chose that position. Yeah. yeah. But, because they couldn't change the owner's service position. No. Hold a sunset they didn't want. Harara's cleaned up. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see the two horses run the closer in the place after the race. It, yeah. Ali, it's not, 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 not many times you come back from the yard and say, you know, can't. You just said about Ali, it's you're not in the race. It wasn't, it wasn't even a that. And then the last, we've got good Jimmy winning. Song Love. Well, Matt's Pearl again. It's, a, it's, you know, it's it, a good play. It, but also, there's a, there's a double nut there. It switch as well. Yeah. 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 So the surprising you, thing about that race was Floral Gold. It's running such a good race to me at 1400, which I was surprised. What but a good, honest horse is. She's been running well week in, week out. She's no good, but she's. She's no good, but, but I, she's, I, I she's, thought she'd been running well at 1100. Right, but I. I, I so. Oh. What are we so, saying? Yeah. There it was. Another meeting. There it was. Lovely. Part one. Is that the end of part one? That's the end of part one. Yeah. Oh,